So it has been an amazing time to be a fan of the Vegas Golden Knights, to be able to cover and watch your Vegas Golden Knights. But it has been a while since we have taken a look back at the 2017 NHL expansion draft and see what has happened to the players that have been part of the inaugural Vegas Golden Knights roster. We'll see players who weren't even playing with the team. We'll see players who only played a little, and then we got a couple who are still on the team today. So it's going to be a great show, but we will be right back here on PR Connections Radio talking about the Vegas Golden Knights and their original expansion draft. PR Connections Radio presents. Absolutely. Great work, by the way, Dana. Now, the Vegas Golden Knights, I love what they did during the 2017 NHL expansion draft. I have been one of the biggest supporters of what George McPhee, what Bill Foley, and all the executives did. But what did they really do? All right, what was this 2017 NHL expansion draft? So I'm going to break this up into a few parts for you. I'm going to break this up to players who never played for the Vegas Golden Knights. They were either traded, they signed somewhere else in free agency, or they just never played a game. They never suited up a game for the Vegas Golden Knights. We will have players who played a select few games for Vegas. They had a few cup of coffee in Vegas, we will have players who played a considerable amount of time, maybe a couple seasons here in Vegas. And then lastly, I will talk about the seven players from this 2017 NHL expansion draft who are still active members of your Vegas Golden Knights. So let's get it started with, once again, players who never played for Vegas. We'll start it out with this guy right here, Anaheim Ducks defenseman Clayton Stoner. Now, with Anaheim Ducks at the time, there was talks about maybe Sammy Vatanen, Josh Manson, but the Anaheim Ducks were going to lose a defenseman. And the Vegas Golden Knights ended up taking Clayton Stoner. Now, you'll see him here. He did have a Vegas Golden Knights jersey on. That's because he participated in training camp and played in a little bit of pre season, but because of injuries, he never suited up in a professional regular season game for the Vegas Golden Knights. I actually had to retire because of said injury, so he never played. Timu Pokin, he was a player taken by the Arizona Coyotes. He was going to be maybe a bottom six forward, but more of an AHL prospect, and that's actually what he became. He played for the Chicago Wolves of the AHL but he never panned out, never became a Vegas Golden Knight. As you see there, he had maybe a few preseason games for Vegas, but he never played a regular season game for the Vegas Golden Knights. Carolina Hurricanes, they had Connor Brickley, who was a minor league player they took from the Carolina Hurricanes. He signed in the 2017 NHL free agency with Florida, so he never even played a game in the Vegas Golden Knights organization. Went to Florida, and he actually is now playing overseas. This next one was interesting because you had Stanley Cup champion defenseman Trevor Van Rimsdyk, and he seemed like he had some potential. Maybe Vegas could put him on their middle six. Well, the next day after the NHL expansion, he has traded Carolina for a second-round pick. He is now an active member of the Washington Capitals and actually just got a contract extension very recently by Washington. So he did pretty well, but never played for Vegas. Kevin, the first 2017 NHL expansion draft, he will always be that trivia question on who was the first pick in Vegas Golden Knights history. Well, it was Calvin Pick. Well, he was in season games for the Vegas Golden Knights and was going to be a backup to Marc-Andre Fleury, but he got um, when they acquired Malcolm Subban, Calvin Pickard 
went to the Toronto Maple Leafs, never suited up a regular season game for Vegas, and now is with the Edmonton Oilers organization uh, with the AHL. Now, speaking of the Edmonton Oilers, we had Griffin Reinhardt, a former top five pick. The Vegas Golden Knights were going to take him, and Griffin Reinhardt actually was on the 23 man roster for the Vegas Golden Knights on opening day, but he was a healthy scratch. He never suited up a regular season game for Vegas. Once again, there's him in preseason. So he never suited up a game for them. And as a matter of fact, Griffin Reinhardt played two seasons for the Chicago Wolves of the AHL. And now he is no longer in the NHL. The Montreal Canadiens, you had defenseman Alexei Emelin. And he was a great defenseman for the Montreal Canadiens. Thought he could add some size to Vegas. Well, he got flipped to the Nashville Predators and never suited up for Vegas. He is now playing in the KHL. Uh, done pretty well there, actually. His stats look pretty decent in the KHL, but never played for Vegas. The New York Islanders gave up goaltender J.F. Barupi. And J.F. Barupi, you know, they got a lot back to the New York Islanders. In fact, the New York Islanders gave up multiple pieces in order to protect certain players. So they got J.F. Barupi. Well, July 1st of 2017, the Vegas Golden Knights did not get him because the Chicago Blackhawks signed J.F. Barubi in the 2017 NHL free agency. So once again, he never suited up for Vegas, never played a game for them, and now is actually in the AHL playing in Charlotte. A similar situation is the defenseman Mark Mafott. And he was actually a defenseman that when the expansion draft happened, some people thought he would be a veteran piece to the Vegas Golden Knights. He would be a solid addition to their defense. Well, it turns out that he got flipped to the Dallas Stars not even a while later, and he got flipped for goaltender Dylan Ferguson. Dylan Ferguson, by the way, we did an episode on here on Vegas Hockey Hub. I'll leave a link to it down below, and I'll put a tab on the right-hand corner for all the people on YouTube. But yeah, I mean, Mark Mathot was supposed to be a good defenseman for the Vegas Golden Knights, got traded to Dallas, and finished his career in Dallas, so he never suited up for Vegas as well. Same for San Jose Sharks defenseman David Schlemko. Ironically, David Schlemko wore a Vegas Golden Knights jersey on expansion night. He was one of the players who came out and greeted Bill Foley and George McPhee alongside Mark andre Fleury, outside Braden McNabb. I believe James Neal was also part of it as well. David Schlemko got traded to Montreal not even a few days later. So David Schlemko, another situation where he was supposed to be a good part of the team, a lot of people assumed. He got traded not even a few days later to Montreal. And before I get to the players who actually did play for the Vegas Golden Knights, there was one more person, and that was the Winnipeg Jets' Chris Forburn. Now, Chris Forburn was a gritty enforcer, a guy you would have on your bottom six. And the Vegas Golden Knights, he never played for Vegas because he signed with St. Louis in the 2017 free agency. So Chris Forburn, J.F. Barubi, and Connor Brickley never even played a game for Vegas in the organization because they went somewhere else in free agency. And then you had people like Calvin Pickard, who was claimed on waivers. Alexei Emelin, Mark Mafat, and David Schlemko were traded a few days after draft night. So those were the players who never played a game for Vegas, never suited up for Vegas. And that was 11 players. So out of 30, 11 of them never even played for the Vegas Golden Knights. Keep that in mind. Now let's get to the players who actually suited up and actually played a few games for your Vegas Golden Knights. And we'll start out here with Colin Miller. Now, Colin Miller, I actually am a pretty big fan of. He was a good defenseman for the Vegas Golden Knights. A lot of people forget that Colin Miller in year one was a steady and consistent defenseman on that 2018 Stanley Cup run. And Colin Miller, he was a bottom he was a bottom line defenseman in Boston. They probably weren't upset to see him go. 
He has a few solid seasons here in Vegas, puts up some stellar numbers. They trade him to Buffalo around 2019, 2020. He plays a few years in Buffalo. Now he is a Dallas star. In fact, he's actually been one of the consistent defensemen on the Dallas Stars team that is making a playoff run as we speak today. So Colin Miller went from Boston, a few years in Vegas, now is a Dallas star, and he's being a very reliable member of that team. Another reliable defenseman who played a good amount of time here in Vegas is defenseman Derek England. Now, I don't have to go in long explanation on why Derek England was taken. Derek England, who actually lived here in Las Vegas, played for the Las Vegas Wranglers of the longtime ECHL, he was a fan favorite. He was someone that the fans wanted to be here. And that speech he did on 1 October after these shootings here in Vegas and they honored the victims is something that you can play back on YouTube today. And for those three seasons he played as a member of the Vegas Golden Knights, he was a leader in the locker room. In fact, he was so much of a leader in the locker room that the Vegas Golden Knights hired him after his career ended, and he actually became uh, an assistant, and he actually helped out the Henderson Silver Knights for a little bit uh, in year four, year five. So Derek England did pretty solid here in Vegas after coming from the Calgary Flames. You see him in commercials all the time. They have those uh, commercials where he has the car and everything. He's smiling and uh, and everything. It's great. But yeah, Derek England, that was a fantastic pick by the Calgary Flames. Um, You know, solid defenseman, middle line defenseman, but a leader here in Vegas. Another player that had some good upside was forward Cody Eakin. Now, Cody Eakin, ironically, during the draft, was uh, Bill Foley, and this was a blunder during the during the 2017 NHL expansion draft. He said Dallas Dallas Stars, no, he didn't. He said the Detroit Red Wings, Cody Eakin. And George McPhee had to quickly tell him and remind him that it was the Dallas Stars who got Cody Eakin. So that was just a really funny uh, experience, 2017 NHL expansion draft. I was at the expansion draft that night, and it was a pretty funny moment. Uh, Bill Foley saying the Detroit Red Wings select Cody Eakin when he was taken by Dallas Stars. But no, but besides that, Cody Eakin, he spent a few seasons here in Vegas. He was a good bottom six forward here in Vegas. He was a productive guy on the team. And Cody Eakin was, once again, part of that 2018 Stanley Cup run. Now, they eventually flipped him to the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, They ended up uh, flipping him to kind of shed cap space. They were trying to make some moves at the 2019 NHL trade deadline. And when Cody Eakin left, he went to Winnipeg, went to Buffalo a little bit, and ended his career as a member of the Calgary Flames. He spent the preseason with them. He was on a professional tryout in Calgary, and he was not picked up. So it really seems like his career might be coming to an end after his PTO ended in Calgary. But still, Cody Eakin was part of that 2018 Cup run, and he spent a few seasons here in Vegas. Tumas Nosek, the actual player taken from the Detroit Red Wings, he had a good story here in Vegas. Tumas Nosek was a solid player for Vegas. As a matter of fact, when he scored that goal in the 2018 Stanley Cup Final against the Washington Capitals, the entire T-Mobile arena went berserk. I mean, it was absolutely lit when it came to all the crowd and everybody in attendance at T-Mobile Arena when he scored that goal. And yeah, he spent a few seasons here in Vegas. He was a reliable and consistent member of the bottom six. And it was unfortunate to see him go, but he is now a member of the high-scoring leader in the points, Boston Bruins bottom six. And despite some injuries, he has actually been a good member of that fourth line in Boston, and he has been doing a very stand-up job out there at the Boston Bruins. Now, the Minnesota Wild is a two-parter here because they did not just give up one player in the the expansion draft, gave up two. The first one is Eric Halla, the original person they took in the expansion draft, and Eric Halla, you know, he came from the Minnesota Wild, was going to be a bottom six forward. 
not many people expected much from Eric Halla. Well, who knew that he would have a 30-goal season in year one? <laughs> who knew that Eric Halla would become a middle six forward that the Vegas Golden Knights would rely on the first two seasons? So year one was a fantastic breakout year for Eric Halla during that 2018 Stanley Cup run. 2019, unfortunately, uh, was more of a different story. He had that gruesome injury against Toronto when his leg went back. And, 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 and go, go watch the video. I don't want to explain it. He had that injury in Toronto. And then that offseason, he gets traded to Carolina. The Vegas Golden Knights get Nick Waugh back in the deals, any compensation. And he has really been kind of a journeyman ever since leaving Vegas. He was with Carolina, with, with Nashville, with Boston. Now he is a middle six forward in New Jersey, and he is doing pretty well. But overall, he has kind of been a journeyman ever since leaving the Vegas Golden Knights. And I really hope that he can stay with the team longer for a year because it, has, it hasn't been that way since he left Vegas. And Alex Tuck was a prospect the Vegas Golden Knights got in the uh, for the Minnesota Wild. Now, there was reports during the 2017 NHL expansion draft, Vegas wanted defenseman Matt Dumba. Matt Dumba was an exposed defenseman. He was going to be a young up-and-coming defenseman. In order for the Vegas Golden Knights to not take Matt Dumba, I believe Eric Halla and Alex Tuck is what was given up instead. And Alex Tuck, the fresh-faced Minnesota Wild first-round pick, see right here, he became a fan favorite here in Vegas. In four seasons playing for Vegas, he became a guy that scored 50 points, would score, you know, 40, 50 points a year. And when he was healthy, he was a best part of Vegas's middle six. Alex Tuck, not only with his speed, but he was also a fresh face. He was a young, up and coming player that Vegas Golden Knights could use for their future. Correction, Alex Tuck was a young, up-and-coming player that was going to be a part of Buffalo's future after they were traded to Jack Eichel. Now, I don't like to be that type of guy, but since we're doing it here on the show, Alex Tuck has become the second-best player for the Buffalo Sabres since being traded from the Vegas Golden Knights. I mean, this is a Alex Tuck who is on a 60-point pace with the Buffalo Sabres, and in traded in the Jack Eichel deal, has become a solid middle six forward for the Buffalo Sabres. So yeah, Alex Tuck could be a potential uh, future superstar in Buffalo. Once again, he is not even in his late 20s yet. So for a guy like Alex Tuck at only 26 years old, for him to be at a third goal mark, in year two as Buffalo Saber, I mean, I hope him all the best. In fact, I wish everyone here all the best. Going to be a future superstar in Buffalo. But yeah, he was taken as a prospect at the time in the 2017 NHL expansion draft. Now, another person that was part of the 2018 Cup run was Nashville Predator James Neal. I remember the hype around James Neal when he was taken in the 2017 NHL expansion draft. There was a lot of people who believed that James Neal was going to be a first-line winger. He was going to be the best scorer on this team when the Vegas Golden Knights took him. Well, not only did he have a one-year run where he did put some good goals in the back of the net, but he's also going to be remembered for being robbed by, by Braden Holtby with a wide-open net in the 2018 Stanley Cup Final. James Neal's also going to be remembered for his insane contract he signed with the Calgary Flames the following offseason. Him signing a five-year deal to go to Calgary and eventually had to be shipped over to Edmonton, played a few games in St. Louis, and now ended his career on a PTO with the Columbus Blue Jackets. So James Neal, his story similar to Cody Eakin, uh, ever since he left Vegas, he's kind of been bouncing around from team to team. 
Another player that kind of bounced around is defenseman John Merle. And John Merle was taken for the New Jersey Devils. He was going to be a you know mid-20s defenseman, maybe could be on the bottom six for Vegas, and was once again part of that 2018 Cup run. And after being in Vegas for two seasons, they flipped John Merle to the Minnesota Wild. And, you know, he was there for a little bit, spent some time in Montreal, spent some time in Detroit. But, yeah, so John Merle, after being with Vegas for a while, has really found some consistency uh, being on a middle six line as a defenseman. But, yeah, so once again, he was here for a couple of years. Now he has been part of Minnesota after being with Montreal and being with Detroit. You know, Oscar Lindbergh is an interesting story because you have to remember, if you don't have Oscar Lindbergh, and this is kind of a, um iceberg effect, if you don't have Oscar Lindbergh, if you don't take him from New York, he eventually doesn't get traded to Ottawa in the Mark Stone deal. So if you don't take Oscar Lindbergh in New York, you do not end up with Mark Stone. Now, how did Oscar Lindbergh do? He spent two years here in Vegas. After he got traded to Ottawa, he spent a year there and now is playing overseas. So his career is still, still going. Now, here was a fan favorite on the bottom six for Vegas. Pierre-Edouard Belmar. Now, there was concerns during the 2017 NHL draft. Why did the Vegas Golden Knights take Pierre-Edouard Belmar? He was in his early 30s. He was a bottom six forward at best for the Philadelphia Flyers. He had been in between the NHL and the AHL. What does Vegas see in the guy? Well, his leadership skills for one, and his ability to play almost every game night in and night out. And that's what he did in his first two years here in Vegas. Once again, was part of that 2018 Cup run. And pierre Edward Belmar was a leader in the locker room. You see the A on his jersey there. And it was unfortunate to see him go. He went over to Colorado and now is a bottom six member of the back-to-back-to-back Stanley Cup final uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. So pierre Edward Belmar kind of having a good part of his career now as a bottom six forward in Tampa Bay. Now, this one hurts. This one hurts for a lot of Vegas Golden Knights fans. Goaltender Marc-Andre Fleury. You know, Marc-Andre Fleury was a fan favorite. He was a hero here in Vegas. He won multiple cups wearing that Pittsburgh Penguins jersey. He comes to Vegas. He has spectacular saves like you see right here. And Marc-Andre Fleury was your face of the franchise. Let's not call it what it was. In year one, year two, and you can maybe make an argument year three, Marc-Andre Fleury was your face of the franchise. And when he got traded to Chicago, a lot of Vegas Golden Knights fans felt betrayed by McCrimmon, felt betrayed by Foley. And, you know, he had a short cup of coffee in Chicago. Now he is wearing the Subway jerseys out there with the Minnesota Wild, and they are on a way to getting a playoff push once again. And let's not make no mistake about it, when Marc-Andre Fleury retires, yes, he will not be wearing a Golden Knights uniform, but his impact here in Vegas, his impact in Pittsburgh, will definitely get him into the Hall of Fame and potentially second on the NHL all-time wins list. Now, St. Louis Blues, you had forward David Perron, and he was a fascinating story. Because David Perron spent a good amount of years playing for the St. Louis Blues. And he was drafted by them. He played a few years for them. Uh, he played for Pittsburgh, for Anaheim. I mean, he had a few years where he was going back and forth. But he primarily played in St. Louis. So he goes to Vegas in the expansion draft, is a second-line forward with David Perron, with Eric Halla on that second line, and he ends up becoming a solid and consistent member of that 2018 Cup run. In fact, I think he had 
around 60 points that year in the 2017 2018 year. So David Perron, after he has a fantastic year during that Stanley Cup run, he signs back. <laughs> he signs back with St. Louis and not even a year later hoists the Lord Stanley Cup as a member of the St. Louis Blues. So he spent a good amount of time in St. Louis, will definitely be a St. Louis Blues legend because of that Stanley Cup win. And now David Perron, after everything he's done in his career, is a member of the Detroit Red Wings. They gave him a solid deal in free agency to be a member of Detroit. Jason Garrison. Now, Jason Garrison, I actually met him uh, during the 2017 NHL draft. He was one of the members that had the jersey on, as you can see right here. And Jason Garrison from Tampa Bay, there was some promise here. There was an idea that Jason Garrison could be a middle six forward and maybe a good defenseman later on for the Vegas Golden Knights. Well, what ended up happening is that Jason Garrison played five NHL games for the Vegas Golden Knights. He spent time in the AHL, and currently Jason Garrison is playing in the AHL for the Chicago Wolves. So Jason Garrison, you know, in the AHL, he's still playing professional hockey, thankfully, but he never really panned out as a long-term solution for the Vegas Golden Knights. And uh, I'm going to keep this real quick to talk about the last three players who played a few games here in Vegas. Toronto Maple Leafs, you had forward Brandon Lepsick. He spent two years here in Vegas as a bottom six forward. And he had some allegations against him. He said some stuff on, a, on video that should not be said. And he is now playing in the KHL. The Vancouver Canucks, it was defenseman Luca Spiza. And he ended up being a solid uh, defenseman. And in fact, he actually is now a coach for the San Jose Sharks. You had Nate Schmidt, and Nate Schmidt, a fan favorite, unfortunately got dealt to Winnipeg, where he is now. So here are some players who are currently on the Vegas Golden Knights roster. You have William Carrier, who they got from the Buffalo Sabres, and he has become a good goal scorer on the bottom six for your Vegas Golden Knights. Six years in, has become a really good player. And... Also, with a fifth-round pick they got in order to take Will Carrier, they ended up getting goalie Yuri Patera, who actually played a few games in the Vegas Golden Knights organization. The Columbus Blue Jackets was William Carlson, the guy who still holds the record for the best single season in Vegas Golden Knights history. 43 goals, 78 points in year one. And is still a fan favorite and is still on the roster today as a second as a second line forward. You also have the Florida Panthers. This was a two-parter. You have Jonathan Marcheseau and Riley Smith. And this was by far one of the worst trades in Florida Panthers history and one of the best in Vegas Golden Knights history. Because not only did Jonathan Marcheseau and Riley Smith become pillars of the Vegas Golden Knights, but Jonathan Marchessault and Riley Smith have become the re reliable, consistent rock of the Vegas Golden Knights. So I will always be a huge fan of Riley Smith and Jonathan Marchessault, but it's crazy that they both came from the same team in the same expansion draft. The Los Angeles Kings, it was defenseman Brandon McNabb, he wasn't supposed to be much from the LA Kings, but he has ended up becoming a six-year defenseman for Vegas and has become a top-line defenseman, regardless if it's Nate Schmidt, regardless if it's Alex Petrangelo or Shea Theodore. Braden McNabb has gelled with everybody. The New York Islanders was Jake Bischoff and the Tampa Bay Lightning. And this is a fun fact here. When the Tampa Bay Lightning gave up Jason Garrison, they got a fourth-round pick in the 2018 NHL expansion draft. And who did the Vegas Golden Knights take in the fourth round of the 2018 NHL expansion draft? Paul Cotter. 
who has now become a solid, reliable player on the bottom six for your Vegas Golden Knights. So the six players who are currently part of your Vegas Golden Knights because of the NHL expansion draft, William Carrier, William Carlson, Jonathan Marcheseau, Riley Smith, Braden McNabb, and prospect Paul Cotter. So this was a great episode of Vegas Hockey Hub breaking down the 2017 NHL expansion draft. So until next time, I'm your host, Ian Rakelli, and have a good one. Continue watching hockey, and go night. Oh.